Hi folks, very warm welcome to another Theban tutorial. My name is Omar, Head of Technical Support and Training, and I want today to make you acquainted about the programming of uh, the uh, powerful time management systems TR Top 2 with a yearly program. Yeah, for this purpose, uh, I brought some, let's say, technical things with me. So that means uh, the appliance, which uh, finally we intend to program, <coughs> an interface, which we need finally to program. We do have here the connection to our laptop and this interface we need finally, for what purpose? Exactly, to use this small fancy memory card to upload or to download. I think you can discover here on this uh, video here. Yeah, and it's what we need to have and nothing else. We need some more. We need software. And the software you get for free on our webpage, theban.com. And uh, that means finally here you can download the reasonable software. And this software is named Obelisk. Obelisk top two, Obelisk top three. So I have downloaded already and I open now. And this really rather powerful uh, software yeah, puts you really in the position that you can program all our, let's say, yeah, intelligent, comfortable and powerful controllers. Nevertheless, if you talk about time switches, uh, brightness controllers, astronomical controllers, or let's say the LAN operating controllers. Yeah, so which are, for instance, the TC series or so, which you can operate with LAN. We care about specifically today about the yearly time switches. And the yearly time switches we discover here. So this column here, these are all yearly time switches, starting from TR641, which is a one channel appliance. TR641 with the RC extension means radio controlled, absolute accurate controlled by uh, antenna and the radio telegram <coughs> and uh, uh, followed by TR642, two channel uh, controller or four channel controller. And this one, for instance, 648, indeed, eight channel controller, but communicating on KNX telegrams. So not wire based, it's uh, KNX based. Yeah, we take exactly this one here. So that means this is exactly like the physical controller, which I do have here. And this has to fit. This I want to make you aware about. So that means, please, first of all, care about this naming here. Here, in this case, you see TR642 top 2. And this is exactly what you have to choose, finally, in your software. Yeah. If you choose, for instance, uh, coincidentally, the TR644, you start programming and later on try to download the program. Sorry to say, uh, it's, uh, it was wasted time because there is no chance, no option to download a program which does not fit physically to the hardware. Due to that, please, first of all, care about the numbering and the naming, if it is uh, equivalent to your choice in the software, and then get started. So I choose TR642 and uh, probably some less uh, things which you need to know. For instance, if you intend to modify, let's say, the language of uh, this programming software. So here you can, try, uh, can choose, for instance, the different languages which you need. In our case, we leave it in uh, English language for this uh, tutorial here. And uh, I try to start <coughs> immediately now. So what does it mean? Probably, you know, with a yearly based time switch, you can either do programming, let's say, in weekly cycles, or you can do it date related cycles, for instance, yeah, or impulses, however, or probably you watched one of our former, um, let's say, videos. And here I made acquainted as well that these powerful controllers as well are able to work or to act according to sunset, sunrise, or according to astronomical functions. Yeah, we go step by step through the different options. And uh, the discovery finally is we do have here different, let's say, menus for the standard program. So that means a weekly based program repeating every week. So we, uh, we need this one here and to do it in a rather short time. 
So if you do mouse over, for instance, we intend to start 7.30 from Monday to Friday and uh, this uh, sequence shall end, for instance, at 5 uh, p.m. So you leave it, you discover here, switch on 7.30 from Monday to Friday. The switch off time is 5 p.m. and from Monday to, Monday to Friday, that's it. Probably you watched one of uh, the former videos here as well in regards of programming a week program. You see it's by far faster and more comfortable like the former one. Yeah, if you intend, for instance, to program an impulse, which could be, for instance, for a bell ring or so. So you can, if you like, put this impulse from here to here. And probably we need another impulse from here to here or just this day, this day and this day, just as an example. So you see how fast it is. And you have now just to type in here, for instance, the duration is approximately yeah, 15 seconds. However, same stuff you have to do here. And you now know how it works and how to do. If you have not filled in everything, you see you get a hint, a note from the software. Don't forget here the times or the impulse lengths finally are missing as well. So you have to fill in. Otherwise, there would be later on no option to download the reasonable program. So I have to do it in a correct way, but the software is supporting me as good as possible. So now it's done. You see these uh, hints are cleared, ready for go. So that means this is rather fast and simple done. Okay, you got it. I choose here channel one. For instance, now I take channel two. I have free choice now, channel two, second relay in this appliance. And um, in the second channel, for instance, I want to do a specific program, however. <clears throat> for that purpose, <clears throat> I take here this extra program. And uh, this extra program could be, for instance, program one, <clears throat> which um, wants to yeah, give me the option, for instance, either to do it in such a way, like you know now, meanwhile, <clears throat> or if you click down here, you can do an impulse, or for instance, you can um, do as well, let's say, a time-based or a date-based function. So this is the weekly program, yes? And <clears throat> this weekly program, you can choose, so when it shall happen. It should be just on a fixed date. For instance, let's click in here. This could be, for instance, on, uh, yeah, let's assume, 3rd of December, <clears throat> the hour when it shall, let's say, start could be, yeah, how we can set it here, click on here, early morning on uh, 6 o'clock a.m., for instance, date is, uh, the ending date is not the 9th, uh, you want to modify this to, yeah, let's say, to the 8th, however, ending time, so you see here the total duration, for instance, if you do it in a reasonable time frame. Or, for instance, you can start it to the Eastern rule. So, for instance, you have uh, Eastern Sunday, Eastern Monday, for instance, and in this specific, let's say, sequence, you want to activate or to deactivate, however, the reasonable uh, time switch uh, programs here, if you like. Or, for instance, you do have a series of days, <coughs> which could be, for instance, uh, yeah, one day cycle <clears throat> could be one of these, or could be, for instance, uh, apply public, uh, uh, yeah, public uh, um, holidays. We have prepared here, especially for, let's say, Germany, we do have here some specific uh, uh, bank holidays, <clears throat> and uh, probably you find here your some prepared from our side, some prepared, uh, let's say, holidays either. However, if not, any time you can here do your own, let's say, edited uh, holidays. You can create some new, so which means, for instance, holidays UK, <clears throat> just as an example. Yeah, and now you can create, for instance, here a new, let's say, time frame, <clears throat> which is from till, which is related to Eastern, which is a free rule, for instance. So the Monday after the 1st of May or whatever, <clears throat> so it's on you 
how to do and uh, to set. Yeah, so you can create your own set totally free. Probably in UK you have specifically yeah, bank holidays in different areas and uh, <clears throat> so you can create your own, let's say, set if you like. And this finally you can create and then activate here. You just open it later on when created. You create it here and then finally the deal is done. Rather simple and rather easy. So, and now, okay, I save it. <clears throat> Just as a demo, uh, 2022. And confirm it. And what I have to do now, so I have to double check if my USB cable finally from the interface is linked to my computer. You have to be aware that the memory card is pushed in. And then, finally, what you have to do? File, program the obelisk card. Yeah, so that means I just check this one. Switching is not correct, so probably there is some missing. Yes, you discover. Exactly. So, and that's exactly what I want uh, to make you acquainted with. So, do it right. Then you don't get any. The weekday is missing. Yeah, you are right. Okay, so now the minimum is uh, fulfilled. I save it again and now file program the obelisk top two. So we download it. Now the query pops up. <coughs> so if there is probably a program existing on this memory card, do you really want to override? In my case, I say yes, I want to do and now the bar starts running, starts moving. As long <coughs> as this happens, you will have exactly this uh, LED lighting up here. So unfortunately the camera isn't giving me a really good feedback because this light here <coughs> should be a red light. Physically I see, but with the camera you can't. And as long as the download is executed, so the red light lights up. When the bar is coming to the end, the red light switches off. Then you can take out, pull out the memory card. Now physically you go, <coughs> you go to the slot, press it down, obelisk to the timer. So copy now the program which I have currently filed here in the obelisk stick. Now you can download it into the controller, yes, I want to do, copy all data, yes, I want to do, and press OK. So now the copy starts. You see here the bar is starting slowly but steadily, and download is finished. Now you are allowed to remove the obelisk card, and the program is downloaded into the appliance. If you want, for instance, to check the program, an existing program which probably you haven't created on your own, but you want to know so what is in the controller, so you can do the opposite. You just press or pull uh, this, uh, push this uh, memory card into the device, and now the time switch is uploading. So that means time switch now uploading to the obelisk, so we get an upload into the obelisk. Yes, I want to do, and now I get the copy from the controller to the memory card as well. You take later on the memory card, put it into the interface, and then you can read in the program of the memory card, and you have your comfortable view in your, in your software, and can double check. So what is programmed, probably from uh, electrician or from the facility manager, however, who was um, in duty before you. And uh, so you can double check so what is in. I think it's more comfortable for overview. And the good thing finally is, and that's the reason why you do have here this printer symbol, you can do the printout especially for this program. And then you can you have some for the documentary as well. Simple and easy, isn't it? And I made you acquainted that um, these powerful controller, these yearly timers, 
are able to support you with astronomical functions either. So we do have here astro settings and we, uh, device settings, sorry. And in the device settings, you can modify here channel functions to astro. So and then I'm quiet now. So all the programs which are currently existing in this device, do you really want to erase? In my case, yes, I do. So and now I have modified this controller, especially in this case, the channel one, into an astronomical function. Yeah. And probably you, you remember one of the former tutorials with the astronomical functions. The timer is acting like a sunset, sunrise uh, uh, monitor. So when the sun, sun rises, so then the controller switches off the street light or the illumination of the, the backyard or whatever. And uh, when sun sets, for instance, then automatically the controller switches on and uh, you have comfortable light in these reasonable areas which you intend to yeah, illuminate, in, which you intend to control. And you remember, I'm pretty sure now, that you know that for that purpose you need, let's say, uh, let's say specific uh, astro settings. And these astro settings finally are, so you need finally to tell or to give this controller the reasonable, let's say, datas. Let's see uh, what could be an interesting, uh, let's, let's take Taiwan, doesn't matter. So, and uh, Taipei as an example. So, and uh, this is for instance longitude and latitude. And uh, if you want to know now, for instance, so when at that spot on the earth, you do have here sunset, sunrise, whatever, here you have all the data and these data are in the controller themselves. You can export this as an Excel file, for instance, if you want to have a documentary for that. For every spot in the world, we do have here, let's say the reasonable uh, sunset, sunrise times. And the controller is now, the channel one is now acting exactly according to this, yeah, to this program. So that's uh, what uh, I want to tell to you. So, uh, which means finally, we do have here uh, now an astronomical function. These, uh, if I go now to standard one, standard one is finally this astronomical function. And here you have a certain discovery. So this frame looks totally different to, let's see, this frame here. You remember, in this frame you could do programming like that. Channel one looks different. So which means here you do have here this lighter yellow and here you do have as well this lighter yellow and this tells you it's exactly the let's say the time frame which can vary which can be different in the season January to December however there are several uh, uh, let's say variations and that's the reason why we do have here this lighter yellow which gives you an indication so in between this frame so the astronomical function will be activated. If you want to have, for instance, a night break <clears throat> in order to save energy of the street light or of the illumination of the backyard, so you can do the following thing. You just take a fix off. Fix off means in this time, for instance, the lights are totally off <clears throat> and uh, you save energy or the municipality saves energy, whatever. And uh, after that, when the sun is rising, uh, when, when the sun uh, is not risen at that time, so then the light switches on and switches off automatically in this period here, in this light yellow pe uh, period here, automatically. So in order to save as much as possible energy for you. Okay, that's all. Hopefully it was some, or yeah, this was some fruitful insight for you. And uh, we count on you. Looking forward to see you next time. Bye.